don't say a word. Just keep walking real casual, okay? Let's do this. I'll show it to you, but you can't tell anybody else where it is, okay? Deal. They keep it way in the back with the really rare stuff. Hey, what's up? How goes it? Good to see you. The kids who work here don't know where it came from, of course, but neither do the old timers. None of them bought it, so there's no tracking number. As far as they know, it's just always been here. Okay, this is where they usually keep it. Uh-oh. No, no, did somebody buy it? Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Because what I hold in my hand is not just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your soul. Go ahead. Open it. If you dare. This is Talon Razor Claus, and I'm bringing you an awesome video game called Brutal Legend. I'm not going to be doing much talking because, well, you get more out of it if you listen to the game. I put it in gentle mode to give you the story, not, uh, not me dying a lot. Dude, check it. Oh, hey, Riggs. Uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Well, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. Don't mess with that guy. He scares me. Hey, Eddie, man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know, when are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong. You're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Is all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? anyways please let him fall damn it a good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good keep someone else safe help someone else do what they were put here to do a good roadie stays out of the spotlight doing his job right. He don't even know he's there. Once in a while, he might step on stage just to fix a problem, to set something right. But 
then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone. Gotta go with the full gore here. Now we finally get to play a little bit. this game free from Amazon Prime years ago, but you can pick it up on Steam. Yeah, I, uh, I totally know the master. We're really good friends. Known each other since kindergarten. And, uh, if any... I just tuned that thing. Oh, <laughs> 
right, nice try, lady, or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. What? Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kind of sexy, though, in a weird way. Hmm. He looked like a... Wait, I think I heard once that killing nuns is bad luck. I'd better get out of here. Feel the sacred blade. I struggle. This thing moving. Near evil, messed up demon powers of darkness uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things and SM type wear. You know, you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, sorry about killing her. Uh, but you're evil, though, right? So we're by your good graces. Uh oh. Uh, I meant evil! Evil graces! Ah, son of a. Say no good. Say no good. Oh, nice cheater move, guys. Really cool. Oh, man. Don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you've come for it as well. No, but these guys jump, man. Hang on. Ah! And it was just sitting there, so. You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? But I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. <laughs> We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah. Wait, before who arrives? Emperor Deviculus. Who? Emperor Deviculus, where are you from? It's kind of hard to say. Um, I kind of live on the road. Be assured, you don't want to be here when he arrives. What's the big deal? You're slaughtering his personal guard, for one thing. Oh, aha. Come on, we have to run. before the... Whoa! Hey, come here, late. check out this Take cool stuff. Take a look stuff. outside. Over here, you... Oh, yeah, right. I'll be right there. Quickly, over here. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. What is this place? The Temple of Ormagodon. It's a place of ancient power, but no one knows its true purpose.
done. Created beauty by simply rocking, that's all. Is that helping us get out of here alone? Cart? I call it the Druid Plow. Let me show you how it works. What you do, you slam it into goo, hoo, hoo, hello. Looks like it's working already. You have awakened the spirit of the beast himself. I hope so. Shut the feeding area gates. Feeding area? What do they feed? If we get there fast enough, you might not need to find out. Um, what's up with crazy legs? They've called in reinforcements. Why such a large force? What? Maybe because we're badasses. Or maybe Emperor What's-His-Name has something against you. Okay, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this place is nuts. Yes, these are dark times for our land, but there are a few of us fighting to change the way things are. Is that why you've come? To join us and fight for the liberation of humanity? You know, I don't really know. I haven't really thought about it yet, but uh, so far that's the best explanation I've heard. Oh, come on! I'm fucking sick of you guys! While I'm slaying these dudes, you get that gate open, okay? God, she's awesome.
a French kiss again. What's French kissing? Uh, it's, uh... The, um, gates open. What? Oh, the gate. Or something. Over here, you foul and rotten worm. Come and fight so that I may let my place on your Hey, knock that off! And trails! Come on, you! Decapitation! There. It is dead. And you, I will now teach you. Hang on. I shall now teach you a French kissing. Show it to Lars. The Viculus. They say it was the fire beast Omogodon himself. No. Far, far worse than me. It was Sancoria. I can smell her blood. The season of pain is upon us. But why has she returned now? What does she want? War. Finally. We should keep moving. We'll be safe in Bladehenge. Here, take this map. his sister and me. What? Come on. Lars is a great leader, truly inspirational, but we've had a few practical setbacks. An army needs food, shelter, transportation. So many details to manage. Sounds like what you need is a roadie. What's a roadie? Uh, it's a long story. How about when we get to town, we have a big powwow with your whole army. We'll have a campfire, and I'll tell you all about what I do and where I came from over a big flag and a mead. What's a flag and a mead? It's a drink. Aren't we in medieval times? I, uh, we only have beer. But you can have as many kegs as you want. To Blade Hinge! Ophelia, what demon have you allowed to follow you home this time? Oh, hello. 
Don't mind Lita. She's Lars's little sister. A little high strung. Lars! So let me get this straight. These performers, they don't even have to tune their own instruments? Nah, that's our job. The roadies. The rock star's job is just to deliver the audience to the promised land of rock. Fascinating. Um, can we get back to the part where you are summoned here from another world? Oh yeah, by this little guy here. You were brought here by Orma Godin, the eternal fire beast? The cremator of the sky. Destroyer of the ancient world. Yeah, I accidentally got a little blood in its mouth and it totally went nuts on me. There are those who speak of a day when Orma Godin, the fire beast, shall bring a warrior into this world. To destroy us, to deliver us. There is some dispute about the translation, but having met you, I can tell that you are here to help us, to lead us. To wage war against the demons, to liberate humanity. Hell yeah! I mean, hold on a second. I don't know anything about waging war, but uh, I'll tell you what I do know. I know from meeting you, Lars, that you are the true leader here, not me. What I know is how to put a crew together and how to keep it organized and how to take it on the road. That, my friend, is exactly what we need. But I'm sure you must be longing to return to your homeland. All right, so where's your army, Lars? We have none. General Lion White has taken away most of our young men to toil in his mines. And he's taken our women to serve as slaves in his decadent pleasure tower. Well, let's go get him back. No, you are not to go near Lion White again. You were almost impaled last time. Compromise. We'll get the dudes first, and then they can help us get the ladies. But time to break the chains! I'll show you the mines, but I think you'll find these chains very hard to break. Don't worry, we'll go free those women soon, I promise. Every second we wait is just one more moment they spend in degradation and danger. Okay, Clementine, this one's for you. I can't wait to try that out.